Hey guys, it's me, Jonathan Graham here. Hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving weekend and to or Remembrance Day weekend. And I designed this origami poppy for Remembrance Day. This is made from two squares of paper and it also can spin. So, Remembrance Day weekend or Veterans Day. So, to make the poppy, for best results, you want to use a red and a black square, but since I don't have a red and black paper, I'm going to use these colors here. I'm going to use the yellow in this case for the petals and I'm going to use the pink here for the center. So we'll make the petals first, the Remembrance Day poppy. So we want to start with the colored side down and fold in half diagonally in both directions. And now we're going to unfold and we're going to do what's called a blend space. We're going to simply fold these corners to the center. like this. This is the blend space. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take this corner here and fold this corner in about a little, about a third of the way to this point or a little less. So I'm going to go about to here. And we're going to fold this one up the same amount. So we're just going to fold this up. And you can see that it's aligned by looking at these two points. They're the same. These are right across each other. Pull this one up, making sure it's the same distance here. Looks pretty close because you want a nice even poppy and then fold this one up again the same distance. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take this, unfold it and fold it backwards on the same crease because this will make the next step a lot easier which will be kind of like a reverse fold. Now we unfold them all completely. And what we do is we're going to unfold this, and we have this little rectangle here. We're simply going to pinch this rectangle from the colored side and reverse that point inside on the creases. Like this. And you can see the crease here if we open this up. You're going to push in on the point and you can see these creases and simply reversing the point inside and then I'll just make sure this is flat and we are now ready to, we have now completed the petals now we're going to make the center by the way you can also use this as a pin if you want as well like a poppy pin now for the center we're going to use this other color and we want us to make a preliminary base with the colored side on the inside so we're going to start with the colored side facing up and fold in half both directions, but not diagonally, just regular, like this. And then we're gonna have with the open end away from us, we'll fold this corner up to the middle, like that. Flip over and fold this corner up to the middle. We have a triangle. We're gonna reach in the middle most centermost pocket, open it up and flatten. Here is the preliminary base or square base. And now we're gonna take this with the Opening it towards us for now, I'm going to fold this point up and make a pinch right there. And now turn it so the closed end is towards us. So we're going to fold the closed point to that pinch and crease really sharply. And you're going to reverse this. And it's very important you do this very well because we're going to do a what is called a sink fold. So this will make it a lot easier. Now we're going to unfold with the colored side away from us. And we're going to make this little square here mountain folds all the way around so we have kind of a square shape the flat shape there and then we're simply going to push in on here while pinching on the corners of the square gently collapsing it sort of like a little like a water bomb base in a way like that and allow it to com go completely flat and that is your square bit your your, your sink fold. And now we're going to take one of these flaps, it doesn't matter which side, I'm going to go with the right this time, and I'm going to fold it so this edge is on this crease, and this other edge is parallel or right on this line here. Now we're going to flip this over, again going from the right in this case, folding it up. And now we're going to take this one and fold it to the left, flip it over, 
and fold this to the left, the top flap. We're going to take this right side again and fold it up so that the creases line up. And fold this in. And then what we have is a, a sort of a diamond or a square like this. Sort of like a smaller preliminary base almost. And now comes the fun part. We're going to open this up. And if you look in the middle, we have this little section here. What I like to do is I like to blow in this little hole here. And you can see how it inflates that area. And we're going to push down on this part here. Well, while we basically push down while you are pulling out on the sides, allow it to flatten completely. That'll actually be the center of our poppy. That's going to be this part here. And now we're going to turn this over and just do a blintz fold. This will be folded with it to the center. Fold the corners to the middle. And this little flap here will be folded in. And fold this one into the center. And now what I do is I take these corners and fold them in a little bit. And you'll see why, because this allows it to fit in nicely. This doesn't really matter if you do these really evenly, because these you will not see. These will be inside the model. The only part you're going to see is that square in the center. So now it's time to assemble the poppy. If you look, we have four pockets here on each side of the square. We're going to take this, the petals, open them up, place the center in to the middle. And on each side, you're going to tuck the, the corner into the pocket. One, two. And you want to make sure this is really flat, and these corners are really flat because it may kind of stay, pop up inside. So you want to make sure it's flat in there. Tuck the corners of the, the petals square into the pockets on each underneath the little square in the middle. Just tucking them in. And now you're pretty much done. Now what I like to do with this poppy is I like to set it like this and just really flatten it really well. You could like put it inside of a heavy book for a few hours or overnight and it'll really flatten it out. Or just do this. And there is your finished Remembrance Day poppy. Of course I didn't use the correct colors but this is what I had and I thought that looked nice. And now if you want to make it a spinner you're going to gently bend it like this. And then to spin it, and you have your spinning poppy. And if you make it from a, like a three inch or two three inch squares or two four inch squares, you could attach a pin to it and turn it into a pin or use it as a coaster. So there's my spinning poppy. This one actually spins the best. So I hope you're able to make that one, and I hope you enjoy making this one to commemorate all the all of those who have served us. And I hope you had a great Remembrance Day, and I will see you next week.